Y'all not Christian Colm snitching on his own father Giddy after newly leaked pages from his mom Kim Porter's book leaked. And it's worse than we could have ever imagined. There have been rumors for years about how Kim Porter was writing a tell-all book about Diddy just before. She mysteriously passed away, but the book was lost when her home was burglarized shortly after her death. There are rumors that she gave a copy of the tell book to a trusted friend, and for many years we have wondered who the friend was and what Kim Porter had to say, we knew that it was going to be bad. But the newly leaked pages are worse than we could have ever imagined, because it proved that Kim Porter was also mistreated, like Cassie was from Diddy. Well, this proved to be the last straw. For Christian, because the thought of his mom being treated this way is too much for him to bear. According to an insider, Christian is ready to snitch on Diddy to the authorities and spill every drop of tea. So did Christian really witness Diddy putting hands on Cam Porter? his mother, and did he really hand over some damaging evidence to the police? Let's get into it honestly, it's not surprising that. Christian would snitch on Diddy because that boy has had loose lips for a while now. He kind of told on Diddy a couple of months ago, either he was trying to warn us about Diddy's true activities that the feds missed, or he was just really dumb and young, and didn't realize what he was doing now for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. I'm referring to the song he made after Diddy's houses got raided by Homeland Security. The Fed seized Diddy's computers and a whole lot of other stuff. And during the raid, Christian and his older brother Justin were detained by by the Feds. And they came this close to getting arrested, Christian was. Also sued for Sai by a woman who claimed that he violated her during a family vacas on a yacht where she worked with this. You think that he would keep his mouth shut, right? Well, no. For some reason, he decided to drop his version of a diss track where he bashed people talking about his daddy Diddy, saying, I dare want you ninja, scream out, no Diddy, when all they had was 50 Cent, who put their city on the map. Stop lying, Pop's been hated on by many men, man, that's fine, they going to try to. Stop these m ms and they going to die trying. But that's not even the worst part of it. In another part of the song, he straight up revealed that the feds weren't doing enough to find the really bad stuff in the houses that they raided because Diddy allegedly kept the worst pieces of Evidence against him in a house is that he had secretly bought next door. He said, knock them walls down like when them fetty boys run in both our cribs too bad. They ain't know we bought the one next door. Cause that's the one they miss how y'all talking like. A ninja time up. But when Shay, get your shines up, asking when my pops that he on the G6 getting the lineup. Yo Christian really snitched on his father and brought daylight on wax. This should have stayed in the drafts because he told the fans where they needed to search now like I said. It's unclear whether he meant to do that, or if he's just very, very slow. But with the new update regarding Kim Porter's case, well, let's just say that Christian is not exactly feeling warm towards Diddy. I mean, everybody knew that Christian was a mama boy. So the thought of Diddy being allegedly involved in Kim's death is something that Christian can't seem to take. Of course, he probably heard the rumors and saw some of them firsthand. But the full truth is more disturbing than he thought it would be. We knew that Diddy used to put hands on Kim, because he even broke her nose once, according to some news reports, Didi Colmes. Girlfriend Kim Porter was left with the broken nose after the couple argued on a Coles's yacht and Sandro Pay comes flew in a specialist plastic surgeon from Geneva after the accident. Porter has since claimed that she hurt her face after she banged her nose on the table. It was believed that there were more stories about Diddy in that same book. But apart from a few excerpts, we never really knew much about it. One of the excerpts was about Diddy's inappropriate relationship with Usher. And according to the reports, some of the things in the book cover Diddy's gay relationships, footage of those encounters, the men he slept with STDs, Diddy giving Usher an SD, and the explosive encounter between Diddy and Usher's mom, Mary J. Blig, being pregnant by Diddy. And of course, she had a termination. The beatings she took, pushing him down the steps in 2007, well, some new pages from the book have leaked. And y'all, it's a lot. It's like Kim's mystery friend has finally gotten tired of holding on to the book and chose to leak some pages anonymously. The leak pages told the story of Diddy being jealous because another man sent flowers to Kim, even though they were no longer together, Kim wrote. He threw the attached card at me. I picked it up to read it, Sean, Sean. I, he slapped me so hard. I hit the ground. C yelled, who are you with the other night? I looked down at the car that was lying on the ground next to me and it read the other night was amazing. We must do it again. I tried to explain Sean. He threw the flowers at me. That's not how this works. You have my child. Don't touch anyone unless I allow it. She continued. I pleaded with him. Sean, please. 
He yelled at me, what I tried my best to calm him down. He probably didn't know it didn't come up, you see you're publicly in someone else, so he screamed at me, and it somehow seemed even more intense, so you didn't tell him. To back off Sean, I didn't. And then, out of nowhere, he hit me. With a chair. I don't remember anything after that until I woke up in a hospital room. My arm was in a cast hanging from a sling. My face hurt, my eyebrow was in immense pain, as was my lip as I came to the first face I saw was, of the man that put me there after putting her in the hospital. He then forced her to tell people that she had been in a car crash, she wrote, he spoke blandly with no energy, and told them, what that you had a car accident? They'll pity you that. You hit your head, he was going to make me look crazy. They were going to believe him, he was a kingpin. Yura Sean spent the next six months helping me heal and working his way back into my life and into my bed, I was so tank stupid. And of course I wasn't cast for either movie, but from what I understand, the producer died of pneumonia. So from the looks of it, Kim was auditioning for some movie roles, but things went left because Diddy didn't want her to, or because she was seeing someone on set. It's kind of hard to tell, because we don't know the full story, as this is just an excerpt. But one thing that's kind of sus is that the producer died of pneumonia, you know the same, thing that Kim allegedly died of, except people believe that Kim didn't really die from pneumonia. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. Interestingly, there were reports that Kim's family also felt like there was something fishy about her passing because they were talking to the FBI and were even planning on filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Diddy. The source said they all have been contacted by the FBI, three family members and six friends have been interviewed already and have been told to stay quiet according to Kim's Cassie told lawyers upon filing her own lawsuit against Diddy that she had information about the death of Kim Porter and she has proof of the reason why Kim was murdered oh and don't even get me started on the allegations that there was a lot of cover-ups over Kim's death and this anonymous person claimed that in Kim past there were questions about the manner in which she died and if they're going to say that it was pneumonia and that she passed peacefully in sleep then why was there blood located on Kim's pillowcases and also a slight trail of blood in the bedroom floor that led to the bathroom? Then there are allegations about how her 911 call for help went unanswered. The source said also the last call Kim made was to 911 at 2, 43 a.m. But Kim was found passed away later in the morning around 11 o'clock. According to Kimora Simmons, but y'all wait, there's another plot twist. Fans believe that Diddy beat Kim up over her boyfriend Shakir Stewart. Shakir was the only man Kim was ever publicly linked to besides Did and Albie. Sure, and it kind of fits this context. There have been reports for a while that Diddy allegedly unalive Shakir. According to an insider, Kim was seeing Shakir, and Diddy found out, and he went ape. He tracked Shakir down to his hotel, then Diddy went up there without security and beat him to a bloody pulp. Don't let the shiny suits and curls fool you, Diddy will F a man up a few weeks later, Shakir was found dead in his home from gunshot wounds, and it was ruled as him uniliving him. Self-like, let's just really be for real now. Nobody in Secure Circle believed that he unived himself. And they pointed fingers at Diddy Hing, but Diddy allegedly knows more about the situation than he's telling. This is a crazy, crazy Nola that became real life. And according to an insider, Christian Combs is taking it very hard. The insider claims that he is now having doubts about his mom's death because the excerpts from the book showed a violent side of Diddy that he really hasn't seen. The insider went on to add that Christian is seriously considering working with the feds and snitching on Diddy because he is feeling betrayed over his mom's death and he believes that she needs justice. He was also seen wearing a Forever KP shirt, so it looks like his heart might be in the right place, but you know that. Fans are all over it, and they've been leaving comments saying Kim Porter's death is devastating. And I'm really proud of Cassie for learning from that woman's fate and controlling her narrative. Sean Holmes is a monster and used his power to manipulate people and control them than he never thought. We'd see the day he'd be held accountable. King Combs might have made the worst mistake of his life. And this dude is a monster up north. We've been hearing is about Didi for years. But nothing like this, and Kim Porter ain't have no reason to lie on him. But I got to know what y'all think about this. Do y'all really think that Christian might switch up and snitch on Diddy? Drop your TH comments below and then check out this next video.